when you're in a room and someone walks in, you sense that they're there almost like a sixth sense. I was wondering if you guys were working on any kind of development that could enhance this sixth sense. If I heard the question right, is are we working on development to enhance what humans colloquially would call the sixth sense? Right. right? Uh, no, not exactly. So uh, we, you know, we would have to have a theory about what that sense was uh, before we could leverage it and extend it through a prosthesis. And we don't have uh, a good understanding of what that is. The closest kind of things that we're doing is trying to extend the situational awareness of, uh, for example, foot soldiers, or same technology would work for astronauts, where uh, by the use of today's technology presented in a way that fits the, the astronaut fits the human, uh, they can, for example, see behind them. Or, you know, I talked to you for a minute about the tongue interface for these uh, folks who have unfortunately been blinded in the war. The original customer for that, and we can't talk much about this, wasn't for blinded people. Let's put it that way. It was to extend uh, human vision. If you've seen uh, Gordy in, uh, uh, in the second Star Trek series, you know, the jumpman that had the visor. Yeah. Uh, he, he can see a non-visible spectrum that humans can't normally see in, uh, and that we would require a big bulky goggles to see in. And so uh, the original purpose of the work was not to repair the vision of people that have lost vision, but to provide superhuman vision in the non-visible spectrum without goggles for future warfighters. Yeah. 